Launch control. It's back to the drawing board for NASA's technicians. For the second time this week, a hydrogen fuel leak has shattered the space agency's plans to send its new moon rocket, Artemis 1, on a test flight from Cape Canaveral, Florida. A team of engineers had tightened the fittings after the first attempt. However, ground controllers say the engine began to leak on Saturday during the fueling process. For now, the mission has been called off. Launch period 25 is definitely off the table. We won't be launching, uh, you know, if this period ends on Tuesday, we will not be launching uh, in this launch period. Um, launch period 26 and 27 will really depend on the options that the team comes back with likely on Monday uh, or early Tuesday morning. While well, managers warned that leaks and sensor issues could prompt further delays, crowds gathered on Florida's beaches ready to witness the historic blast-off. Years behind schedule and billions of euros over budget, Artemis 1 aims to establish a continuous human presence on the moon. It's been 50 years waiting for them to go back to the moon. It, it's way overdue uh, since December 1972 when Gene Cernan you know, left the moon. Uh, in this following December, it'll be 50 years. And I, I think we should have been, gone back a lot sooner. And I'm looking forward to this. NASA says the next possible launch window is between September 19th and October 4th. Once the spacecraft launches, Artemis 1 will send its capsule named Orion on a journey of 2.1 million kilometres around the moon before returning to Earth.